Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome to my video. Today I have a 20, uh, 2011 Honda Odyssey Touring. Um, this van has 146,000 miles. Uh, I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like after you know heavy use. And we're gonna see if it's a good value for the money. With it being a touring model, it is fully loaded with all the options that Honda offers. Um, but a van like this will be around eight to ten thousand dollars. So in this video, we're gonna see if it's worth it. To start, this is powered by a V6 uh, VTEC 3.5 liter engine. Um, this is one of Honda's most reliable engines. It's an automatic. It gets about 19 city, 28 highway. Typical for a minivan. Some options include um, the eighth passenger seat, uh, leather as part of the touring package, as well as the sunroof. Um, you got some accents on the exterior. You got the upgraded wheels, um, the black mirrors, some chrome on the handles and around the windows. Uh, these are all things you don't get with the standard model. We get a power uh, hatch as well as other features. It's too many to list, but I mean, obviously, like backup camera, bumper sensors. Um, on the interior, you got, you know, navigation. You have a cool box down here to keep your uh, drinks and food items cold. It actually is enabled with that button right there, and it keeps this compartment AC controlled. I was actually surprised to see that the uh, power sliding doors were not standard on all the models. So on the EX model, you don't get power sliding doors. Uh, but every other model gives you that option. You also have a sunroof and DVD player. In the back seat, you have those sunshades. They roll up for each window, pretty nice. The eighth seat is great. Let's check out how to slide these seats forward. Um, so this button right here will detach the seat entirely. This handle right here is to slide it forward so you can access the rear. If you're wondering about car seat anchors, there's two sets back here. Uh, no anchors in the center seat. And then the middle row has anchors for each seat. A lot of amenities in the back um, for the third row. You do get the padded armrests. You have uh, vents, plenty of vents for good airflow. And similarly for the middle row, there's plenty of options. You have you know extra cup holders, ton of storage. I haven't figured out what this thing is. If you know what it is, Please leave it in the comments. In the door you have a cup holder and a, a sleeve. It's pretty spacious and comfortable as you'd expect from a minivan. Um, that sun visor is a little broken, easy fix. But let's just see how it's aged. Remember this car, this van has 146,000 miles. That's, that's a lot of miles. A lot of cars would be dead at this point. But not this Honda, it's got a ton of life left. It'll easily do another 100,000 miles um, if it's maintained properly. And here's what I mean. I will show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and take a look under the engine. Let's pop the hood. The release is back here. And before I do that, I wanted to mention that the armrests uh, wear out very easily. It's cheap quality. Uh, this happens with a lot of the Hondas I see. And the ones that have armrests in the middle, they, they do wear out too. Well, here's the lovely 3.5 liter VTEC V6 engine from Honda. This engine has a timing belt and so how long this van will last will depend on whether the timing belt was replaced at the appropriate time or not. Um, 
when I got this van, I had no idea when the last timing belt replacement was done. So I just went ahead and replaced it just to be safe because at 146,000 miles, if it hasn't been replaced, uh, then you risk damaging the engine if that belt um, goes bad. Some other maintenance items were pretty standard. The power steering pump was leaking in here, so that was replaced. Um, a dead battery, which is can happen in any car, and a torn uh, intake hose that was replaced. So all pretty minor stuff. This, this van really didn't need anything uh, huge, anything major. The only thing is the timing belt. And that could cost anywhere from 700 to like 15 or 1800 dollars depending on labor and um, what what shops charge in your area let's go ahead and start it up give it a few revs nice sounding healthy v6 engine no issues so it sounds like when it's idling oh I did forget to mention I replaced the belt pulley that was a little bit noisy um, it was loose and making uh, uh, a noise when it was idling so we took care of that too You got navigation, your radio, climate control. Everything's pretty straightforward. Sunroof controls. Ton of cup holders. You got another one right here. Power outlets. Aux cable. Let's see, does it have Bluetooth? It does have Bluetooth. Nothing is connected right now. In the glove box, you have a USB connection as well. Well, that pretty much covers it. Quick overview of this van. If you're in the market for a used Odyssey, um, I would say definitely get it if it's been well maintained. The owner can provide you service history. Um, and if they can show you when the timing belt was done, then I would say go for it. Make sure to check everything else too, like suspension, brakes, oil, all of that. Um, make sure there are no leaks. Check the coolant system and make sure that it's in good shape. Because at these miles, um, what you're buying really depends on the maintenance. And so if it hasn't been maintained properly, guess who's going to do all that work? It's going to be all on you. And one last thing I forgot to mention, something that I've been seeing a lot on Hondas in Arizona is the rubber seal around the door see that how it's cracking right there um, that's very common on a lot of hondas that i've been seeing out here they're just sun damage um, it's not really a big deal like i wouldn't worry about it like water doesn't go in there it's just merely cosmetic so if you're worried about the rain getting in or something like that i mean you could easily replace that you can have an auto glass guy apply a new seal around it it's the same material and the same uh, rubber that they use around windshields when they replace your windshield so they could probably replace that very easily but that's all for this video thanks for watching i hope this is helpful please consider subscribing